Hello everyone. Today in this video, we are going to discuss few important questions of genetics. Okay. And this topic will be very useful for your upcoming exam like uh, NAVAD or RRBSO or mostly regarding FCI. Okay. And it will be also useful for your IBPS AFO examinations. Okay. So our today's questions will be from the which topics that is genetics. Okay. I hope your basic of the genetics is cleared. Okay. If it is not clear, then also I'll try my best to make you understand in the best possible way. Okay. Which of the flowing technique was used by Mendel while experimenting on garden pea? See, Mendel, who is known as the father of genetics. Okay. And who is known as the father of modern genetics? That is W. Bateson. W. Bateson is known as the father of modern genetics. Who is known as the father of experimental genetics? That is Morgan. Okay. Okay. So Mendel has done his experiment on which plant? Pisum sativum. Pisum sativum. Okay. Which is known as the garden pea also. Then while Mendel was experimenting on the garden pea, then Mendel has used various techniques. Then question is regarding that only, that which of the following technique was used by Mendel while experimenting on the garden P? Emasculation, bagging, case technique, A, B, and C, all, and last one is A and B only. Okay. Then first is emasculation, and second one is bagging. See, what happens in emasculation, generally in bisexual flowers, male part is removed removal of male part from the bisexual flower that is emasculations then if male part of the flower is removed then what will happen it will be very helpful in avoiding this cell pollination okay the removal of male part of the flower is emasculation and what is its use to prevent the self pollination and now this emasculated flowers now these emasculated flowers are bagged with some materials like plastics. Now, when they are bagged, flowers are bagged, then this will help in preventing the cross-pollination. Emasculation is useful in preventing the self-pollination and bagging is helpful in preventing the cross-pollination. Okay, so the genetic matter cannot be altered. So these are the techniques, emasculation and bagging, which had been used by the Mendel while experimenting on the garden pea. So our right answer will be answer A and La e will be the answer, A and B both. Next, what was monohybrid taste cross ratio? See, what is monohybrid? Monohybrid means when they stud, you study the character, only one character at a time. See, what happens, Mendel when was experimenting, then they have studied the seven character, seven character of Pisum sativums. Okay, Pisum sativum. Okay, so then what happens? Suppose we take a one character that is height. Height is a character. It will have two form. Either a plant can be tall or it can be dwarf. Okay. Then the gene regulating tall is different. The gene regulating dwarf is different. Okay. Suppose when you talk about the character, then they are regulated by the gene. Some all the characters are regulated by the gene. Okay. Then. They, what they have done, one is in the recessive form and one is in dominant form. Suppose tall, then they are in dominant form. And next is dwarf. They are in recessive form. For the dominant form, we use the capital letter. And for the dwarf uh, recessive form, we use the a small letter. Okay. Now, what happens? Suppose when you talk about this, capital T, capital T, you are crossing with the small t, small t. That is pure tall plant because T, T, they are both in dominant form. Pure tall plant is crossed with the pure dwarf plant. Then F1 hybrid will be capital T and a small t. As it both are in homozygous condition, okay, see, capital T, capital T, small t, small t. All are homozygous condition. When there is capital T, small t, it means it is heterozygous condition. Then both are in homozygous condition, capital T will be gamete and a small t will be gamete. When they both are crossed, capital T, a small t. This is the F1 progeny. F1 progeny. Now there is capital T and a small t. Then this capital T will be dominant over the a small t and it will appear as tall. This is also tall. Now, 
Why? According to the law of dominance, this capital T will be dominant upon the small t, and it there will be expression of what will be the expression of f1? That will be tall. All the plants will be tall. Now, when you cross f1 with either of the parents, either with the dominant parent or either with the recessive parents, that is the back cross. And when you cross the f1 parents with the recessive parents, that is this one, that is test cross. And when you cross the f1 parents, eh, sorry, f1 generation with the dominant parents, that is out cross. Okay. It means what? Back cross is of two types back cross is of two types. One is out cross and another is test cross. When F1 children or F1 offspring is crossed with the dominant parent, it is out cross. And when F1 offspring is crossed with the recessive parent, that is test cross. And question is asked regarding the test cross only. Okay. So let's see. Miss, they have asked to cross the F1 into recessive parents. This is heterozygous condition two gametes will be formed, and this is the homozygous condition, one gamete, a small t. Now, a small t, you'll be crossed with capital T and a small t. This will be capital T, a small t, and a small t, a small t. Both the genotype are in which ratio? One is to one ratio. Okay, and this both are in, one is tall, other is dwarf, that also one is to one. So, what is the mono test cross ratio? That will be one is to one. I hope this is clear. One is to one. Next, total number of gamete produced in tri hybrid cross is two, four, six, eight, ten. See, when you talk about mono hybrid, tri hybrid, tri hybrid, mono hybrid means study of any one character. When you study two character, that is di hybrid. Okay, suppose we are studying two character, then we are taking tall plant and a round seed okay or you can say tall plant or round seed okay then the okay this is homozygous condition and this is heterozygous condition this is one heterozygous pair another heterozygous pair okay similarly if we talk three characters suppose first character second character and third character this is tri hybrid condition then if you want to find the total number of gametes produced by in case of tri-hybrid cross, then simply what you will do, you will use the formula 2 to the power n. What is the n? Number of heterozygous pair. Number of heterozygous pair. Then in this condition, how many heterozygous pair is there? 1, 2, and 3. Then this will be 2 to the power 3. That is 2 is to 2 is to 2. That is 8. Right answer will be D. 8, 1. Similarly, if you see dihybrid cross to the power 2, that is 4 gametes are produced. Okay. Next, what was the conclusion of Mendel's monohybrid cross? Law of dominance, law of segregation, law of independent assortment, A, B, and C, A, and B only. Then from monohybrid cross, when the Mendel was studying the single character at one time, then at that time, Two conclusion was there. One was the law of dominance, and another was the law of aggregations. We'll come with more questions regarding this uh, law in, in a next video. For right now, you understand the conclusion from the monohybrid cross was law of dominance and law of segregation. The answer will be A and B only. Okay, law of independent assortment is conclusion that is drawn from the dihybrid cross. Total gene present in a cytoplasm is known as cytogene, karyogene, plasmon, or none. Cari see, in, when you talk about this cell, then there is a nucleus. Inside the nucleus, there is chromosome, and on chromosome, genes are linearly arranged. Then gene which is present inside the nucleus on the chromosome, that is known as the karyogene. Some genes are present in the cytoplasm also, that is known as the cytogene. And when you count the total cytogene in the cytoplasm, that will be known as this. Plus moon. The right answer is C. Linkage is the exceptions of law of dominance, law of segregation, law of independent assortment, all or none. So, linkage. Generally, what happens? Law of independent assortment is the conclusion that is drawn from the dihybrid cross. Okay. 
and according to law, to in the, uh, uh, this uh, law that it will explain all the three laws in, in separate lecture very properly. So this linkage which is the exception of the law of independent assortment. According to law of independent assortment, if there is a dihybrid condition, dihybrid condition, as you know, the genes are linearly arranged on the chromosome, then this is dihybrid condition. Then what happens in this case? Total four type of gametes should be formed. But if there is a linkage, A, these link genes are linked to each other, then only two type of the gamete will be formed. A, B, S, capital A, a small, a capital A, capital B, and a small A, a small B. This is the linkage. So linkage is the expectation of law of independent assortment. Next, if you see, what is the conclusion? Ah, what are the factors affecting crossing over? Crossing over is the just opposite phenomena of the linkage. Ah, what then they have asked, what are the factors that is responsible for the crossing over? Distance between the genes, age, sex, none, or A, B, C. See, on chromosomes, what you see, genes are arranged. Now, the more will be the difference distance between the two genes, more will be the crossing over. Okay, so it depends upon the distance also. And as the ages increases, what happens? Crossing over decreases. Okay, and sex, when you talk about male and female, then crossing over is less in case of male as compared to the female. So all are the factors which are affecting, affects the crossing over. So answer will be A, B, and C. Mendel obtained a wrinkle seed due to the absence of SBE, that is starch branching enzyme, peptase, linkage, crossing over, none. Then Mendel has obtained two types of seed. One is a round seed and other is a wrinkle seed. But the reason behind obtaining the wrinkle seed was that uh, there was the absence of starch branching enzyme. So right answer is starch branching enzyme. See, Mendel has studied seven character of the pisum sativum. Then all the, the gene which controls these seven character were located on the different chromosomes. What is the chromosome number of pisum sativum? 2n equals to 14. Then total characters were located on the how many chromosomes? Then they were located on total four chromosomes. What is that number of that chromosome? That is 1, 3, 5, 7. External not, it is external. External appearance of an organism is known as phenotype, genotype, phenocopy, heterosis, none. See, then the right answer is phenotype. What happens? Suppose we talk about the capital T, capital T, capital T, small t, small t, small t. Then you see, they both are in dominant form. This is also tall. This is pure tall. Capital T, small t, capital T is dominant over small t. This is also tall, but in pure tall. And small t, small t is dark. From externally, you will find that this is also tall and this is also tall. But which type of tall is this? Impure or impure, you cannot say. Then from external appearance, what you see that, oh, they are all are tall. That is phenotype. When you study that this genetic composition, that this tall is of capital T, capital T type, and this tall, tall is of capital T, small t type, that is genotype. Okay. What is heterosis? The Superiority of F1 parents over the uh, F1 of a spring over their parents that is heterosis. Okay, what is phenocopy? When two different genotypes are kept in two different environmental conditions, they produce the same phenotype that is known as phenocopy. That was 10 questions from the genetic sections. Whatever more doubt you have, I will discuss in the, in the next lecture. This I have given in a very brief manner just to start because we will discuss many questions of the genetics. Uh, just we have started with the questions, but we will bring some important topics also, concepts also, not only questions. That's why I have just given you the questions that in, in, in the exam like FCI, where the syllabus is botany and geology, which type of questions they can ask. So we have given just a simple sample. We'll discuss the this concepts also of the genetics because many students are saying they're having problem on that topic. We'll discuss in various lectures. Thank you.